Hey everybody, what's going on? Nathan343 here, and we have a big box from, I believe, our good friends over at Sheds. We're going to go ahead and we're going to, we are shooting on a brand new tripod, not a brand new camera, but it is a brand new tripod, so we're probably going to get some good, good aerial shots of opening this. Uh, we're in the process of possibly getting ready to repaint the studio, get the TV put up, all sanded, get some more lighting set up. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to, uh, to show you guys. Uh, open this box and see what's in it. I'm probably going to open this one here. We have two of these. And I'm going to open the other one on the floor so you get a better idea of how it's packed. So, we're going to go ahead. Now, this wasn't supposed to show up until towards the 16th of the month. And it showed up a lot sooner. So we got a box inside a box. So we're going to go ahead and take this box, turn it upside down. And this box can go in there. All right, so now we have a smaller box. And I believe this, this is box. the top because it has a... Cut that. Cut it there. Yes, this is from our good friends at Sheds. So we have a brand new booklet. Now you've all seen the big giant Beam 237Rs. Well, this is the brand new 230 Beam from Sheds. It is the Super Beam 230. We're gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this on the ground, show you what's inside the box because it's a lot and you ain't will see much you're going to open camera. this this is going to be one of the cool foamed boxes right there is our brand new 230 watt 7r hopefully you guys can see that so right here now sheds has started sending out a different kind of power con it is a black and yellow power con i don't know if it's rated for more power but that is the new PowerCon from Sheds. Okay, black and yellow might be a little different. We also have another DMX cable. I have tons of these. I'm gonna put that up. We have heavy duty brackets in here for the seven R's. These are the quick clips. And we have the brand new, really, really big, <clears throat> 7R. Now I'm going to go ahead. I think that's it. I'll pull this piece out just to make sure there's nothing under the box that's in the box. Nope. And I will keep this box for padding. I'm also probably going to be getting a flight case for these because I am going to be keeping these and using these probably very soon. So we're going to go ahead and move all this all stuff right. over. So this is the new and it's in pla plastic wrap. These just came out. These are brand new and I just had somebody ask me uh, emailed me about the, the Beam 230s. Now these are the smaller ones. They have a smaller footprint. They're not as heavy. I think this is cool. It's the new Beam. The head kind of looks like the bigger one. Um, I'm curious to see what it looks like. It looks like to change the bulb out. That's very awesome. Um, it looks like, flip this around so I can read it properly. Yes, yeah, so it has the bulb information here. So it has this little thing here. Looks like you can take this plate off to get to the bulb access to change the bulb if the bulb happens to blow, which it is not LED. It is a halogen, I believe, bulb. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll get you guys in for a close-up. We'll do some discussing about what this little so you're guy not going to see me much. But and it's, so we have this moving head. It is not continuous pan. So is your 540, I think. You got your 270 degree tilt back and forth. Um, on the front, you've got your screen, very nice screen, Shed's logo. It's got your arrows, DMX, your air light. On the back, you've got a fuse, DMX in, DMX out, power con in and power con out. And of course your off and on button. So I'm gonna go ahead 
this because I and, and we've got two of these so we're going to be putting two of these probably on some totems and I do believe I'm having trouble with my DMX controller um, that I have so we're going to go ahead plug that in we have it plugged back here we're going to plug that in I've got to plug that piece back into the wall and uh, let's see what this little guy will do all right, so curious. we have gone and powered up our power supply back here that we used to show stuff and we're going to go ahead and turn it on and i'm going to get out of the way it is loud i will say but it that might go away once things change of course when you got music and stuff these are for really big productions so hopefully it will not be super loud i will probably get a flight case for these I have a big fan here. You can feel the air coming out. There's a fan on each side. You've got fans sucking in here, blowing out here. All different kinds of good stuff. It is loading like a normal 7R does, but it is super, super fast. Ooh, I like the, the menu. Let me see if I can zoom in here on the menu. Here's the menu. The menu. So it shows the moving head probably in its state. That there is the menu, and that thing was cool. Although it is loud, but that doesn't necessarily mean a bad thing. So it looks like we have, let me look at the book here. It's on 16 channel right now. Let's see how many channels this has. It is a 16 channel fixture. No, it is a, hold on. So you have a 16 channel mode and a 20 channel mode. All that is in the paperwork here. Last page, second to last page, so 16. 420 channel mode. Okay, so I'm gonna go into, that's the address, so you can set your address. I do like that, that menu. That is very cool mode. Let's go back to mode, so auto run. We're in DM, DMX control, we're gonna hit auto run. Takes it a second, maybe. It sounds like it's running, but I ain't getting no light off of it. Let's see here. Now we have them both here, as you can see. One thing I'm noticing, and it might be my DMX controller, is this light here seems to be a little bit lower than the other one. You could put them on two separate channels and rotate them, you know, have two separate channels so they do two different things. But I'm just gonna run through the lighting, the gobos here. Uh, it is kind of weird. Um, these are your beams, basically. That's why they're called a beam. It's not a spot, it's not a flood. Uh, these are for high up. The higher they are, probably the best they're going to do. We are going to mount these on some trussing uh, so I can show you how they rig. I'm going to get a piece of uh, trussing put together sometime here and we're going to stick that on there and we're going to basically hook them up, get them up high in the air and show you what they look like uh, hanging from a truss because this these, these would be great for trussing. Again, these are super loud, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they are all that bad. So disregard the wall that's kind of really super a mess right now. We're getting ready to repaint in here. Uh, so that's changing. So we're pulling the uh, foam panels down now that we have the new mic. I don't need all that sound deadening in here. So, all right. So going through the DMX channels, channel one is your colors. So we're gonna go ahead so you've got full color, so there's orange. You've got split colors, yellow, purple, kind of like a warm white, green, white, white, blue, blue and white, blue and red, red, yellow. So you have split colors. That looks kind of like a uh, jellyfish. A blue, green, purple, and then of course it will chase and then you can also set it to go and you see one's going up one's going down it's 
kind of weird how they're changing, but that's cool. I like that. Okay. So we have, we also have the pan on this inverted uh, stuff. So when you do, let me see if I can find that. We'll get to that here in a second. So channel two is your strobe. Kind of strobe it. Channel three is your dimmer. Dim it. I think the reason why that's doing that is because the head's inverted. That's probably why it looks like it's that way. Channel four is your gobos. So we're gonna go ahead, slap a gobo on here. Now it looks a little blurry. All right, let's clear that up with uh, channel nine. That is your focus. See there focuses it up and we're going to go back through the gobos which is channel four as I'm getting blinded right now so got a kind of a weird look let's put some color with this dead in the dead in the, I like where's the blue at nah, it's too blue Keep looking. there we go kind of a starish Okay, go back to four. I'm trying to do this without getting blinded. And it does a real quick or slow or either way, like that. All right, so five is your prism. So if you want to make this a prism, there you go. So this is a eight prism, fluid prism. So as you see, prism means it takes the single picture and turns it into eight individual a small prism okay very small it's not like a big one stay tuned to the channel you'll see other ones on here if you haven't done so go check out the other ones we have done other fixtures that have uh, bigger prisms on them and they are here on the channel okay so that is your prism so five you can also go back to a single back to a prism channel six is prism rotation. So if you got something you need to turn it a little bit or you want it to spin like a propeller or if you want it to spin real slow, you could do that. Now in a bigger room, these are gonna look a little bigger. The further away you get, the bigger they're gonna get. So don't think it's small. The bigger you get, the higher up they are, they are gonna have a different impact than they are here in the studio. They're roughly probably eight feet maybe seven eight feet away from the the wall is the what the moving heads are sitting on we are running them off wireless dmx with the rockville uh wireless deal wireless dongles and we are using the rockville w4 to control this so you don't have to have a super high powered dmx controller to run these if you just want to use them on stationary okay seven is what we call rainbow so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this back to white we're going to turn seven up now that changes that to rainbow now if you do this with one you're going to get your split colors you can also change it that way too you can change it to all red you can make it do the cool little see how they're kind of doing that that looks kind of like you're blinking i like that different colors there on that now we have what's called the frost so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this back off and we're gonna go to frost which is channel 8 so you can use this as a flood or a spot um, for dancing or if you want to you know use it as a spotlight you could um, we're gonna go ahead and turn the frost off channel 9 is the focus and it's already up see if I defocus it you can see how it just makes it kind of gloopy. We'll show that all the way up. Maybe not quite all the way up. Now this will differ your focusing depending on the room size. Channel 10 is your pan. As you can see, I just panned it and they are panning in two different ways. Uh, 
Now there's definitely some heat coming off of these. We're gonna put them back there. As you can see, when you move it out there in the, the hallway, the further it gets, the globo gets a little bit bigger. There's definitely some heat coming off these. Channel 11 is your fine tuning, so you can move that up. And that's just like if you just need to move it ever so slightly, you can move it in and out. You got your fine pan tilt, which is channel 13. Channel 14 is auto mode. You can set it and it will go to auto mode. So, and then 16 says lamp, no function after 35, after 3S, turn off the lamp. And then you've got channel 17, 18, 19, and 20, which is pan, speed, color speed, focusing speed, and gobo speed. So I would probably not run those because I'm just going to be using these for static basically setting them up on the ceiling. Uh, if I ever do get into high stuff, I will probably set one of these up, let it go, but it's very cool. I am gonna put them back on auto mode just so you guys can see what they'll do on auto mode. Uh, they kind of go crazy, but we're gonna put them on auto mode. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these back on just for a minute so I can see everything. The, the tilt, they do tilt, they do, function really really well so let's go ahead and bring up some studio lights here <laughs> and you guys can see what these look like as what they look like this conclusion the 7R moving head would be basically a big stage moving head you could use these for DJing you know if you're just using beams and getting all that stuff but if you want a big big giant uh, prism this probably wouldn't be the moving head for you but if you're looking for a beam to cut through that fog to shoot for distance you know to really cut through and show the audience just what you can do the 7R mini beam, not the big 7R, the little 7R beam is what you need. Make sure you check it out, link in the description. You can see some video here playing in the background of different effects it's got. It's got awesome color wheels, really awesome gobos. It's got a lot of awesome color temperatures and gradients. Uh, 
30 degree beam, um, moves very well, very small. This will fit on a totem if you do want to use it on a totem. I would like to see these just you know, on the floor, glazing up through the fog, hitting the ceiling, uh, doing something like that, or hanging from a truss. Now, I know I said I was going to put these on trusses and show you guys, but um, all my trussing is put away right now. But if you want to go check out the DJ Fire channel, and I'll probably put a conclusion video up on this. I'll get all of them hanging, all the new moving heads we've gotten from sheds lately. I'll get those all on the truss. Uh, I did order some different kind of clamps for these. Uh, so they will hold a lot easier because they're kind of awkward to put on a truss. So I got the uh, J-hook clamps and then you can flip a deal up and tie them down or twist. I got those coming, so very excited for that. Uh, it's very nice. It isn't LED, so remember that. If you're looking for something LED, this is not LED. This is a halogen. It does look like it has a deal in the back right here that you can unscrew to get to the bulb. So that's a really awesome access panel to change the bulb. You can also check with sheds if the bulb goes bad. I'm sure they have some in stock. So make sure you check those out. Check out all the other shed videos and the shed playlist that we have here on the channel. You'll be glad you did. There's a lot of awesome things there at sheds. I want to thank all the members at sheds for making this possible. Thank you guys for sponsoring my channel. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video. And uh, thank you guys all for watching. You don't know how much this means to me when I get all the awesome comments about, hey, I just bought 12 of these or I just bought 10 of these. Also, you can get these in a flight case. So if you're going to order a bunch, maybe you get a discount if you order the flight case with it. Make sure you email uh, one of them. If you need a bunch of these for your stage to put up on the uh, stage, I can't give you kind of an idea of what it's going to look like hanging look something like this it will look very beautiful hanging uh, it would be cool if shed's logo was uh reversible so you could flip it upside down and have it right side up if it was hanging but check it out check out sheds as you see the video playing here in the background you can see some awesome cool effects that it does along with the effects that i showed you thanks for watching guys see you in the next one